Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Here are five tips for selecting, merging, combining, and aligning shapes in Photoshop. First, by default, the path selection tool only selects shapes on the active or selected layer or layers in the layers panel. If you want to quickly select shapes from multiple layers, we can change the select option from active layers to all layers. Now, clicking on a shape with the path selection tool automatically selects the layer. We can use the shift key to add to the selection or shift click again on a selected shape to deselect it. We can even click and drag over multiple shapes to select them. To assign a keyboard shortcut to toggle between selecting all layers and active layers, we can use the edit menu, select keyboard shortcuts, make sure the shortcuts are set for tools, scroll down, and then assign a character to direct selection mode toggle. I'll click to the right and then tap the letter N. That will remove it from the toggle preview mode, but I'll accept that and click OK. And now tapping N will toggle between active layers and all layers. Second, applying path operations. So the shape tools are set by default to create a new shape layer each time that you click and drag out a shape. But if you want to have multiple shapes interact with one another, they need to be on the same layer. So if you've already drawn the shapes, you can select the shapes, then choose layer, and then merge shapes or use the keyboard shortcut Command E on Mac or Control E on Windows. When we merge the two shape layers together, the shapes are automatically set to combine shapes. And we can notice how the stroke now follows the outline of the combination of the two shapes. However, I can still select either of the shapes independently from one another and reposition them. Because I only want to change the way the small triangle interacts with the large triangle, I'll select it and then choose to subtract from shape. We could also apply the intersect shape areas option as well as the exclude overlapping shapes. Or if it's easier, we can apply the same shape options using the Pathfinder icons in the properties panel. You can also use the following shortcuts with the path selection tool selected. I can tap the plus key to combine shapes, the minus key to subtract the front shape, and I can tap the multiply key on an extended keyboard in order to exclude overlapping shapes. Now, unfortunately, shift plus eight doesn't work. It has to be an extended keyboard and there isn't a shortcut for the intersection of shapes. Third, if you prefer to apply the path operations while you're drawing your shapes, you can use the following keyboard modifiers to automatically change the path operations. I'll drag out my first shape, then I'll hold down the shift key, which will change the path operation to combine shapes. When I start dragging out the second shape, Photoshop is going to combine these shapes, but the shift key is actually constraining it to a circle. If I wanted to draw an ellipse, I can release the shift key and continue drawing and the path operation will still be set to combine the two shapes. All right, let's undo that. This time I'll hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, which will change the path selection operation to subtract front shape. When I draw this second shape, it's going to draw from the center. So again, I can release the keyboard modifier and continue drawing the shape from the corner instead of the center and we can see that the front shape has been subtracted. All right, I'll undo that as well. And this time I'll hold down the Option and the Shift key or the Alt and the Shift key on Windows, start dragging out my second shape, but we can see it's constrained to a circle and it's drawing the shape from the center. So I can release the two keyboard modifiers and continue dragging the shape if I don't want those constraints. When I release the cursor, we can see the intersection of the shape areas. Now there isn't a keyboard modifier to exclude overlapping shapes, but you can always change the path operation after drawing the shape. Fourth, the order in which shapes are drawn on a layer is critical when assigning path operations. I'll create my first shape. 
Then set the option to Combine Shapes and drag out a second shape as well as a third shape. Now, even though the shapes are on a single layer, they have a stacking order. So the first circle that I drew is lowest in the stacking order. The middle shape is on top of the first, but below the third shape, which is at the top of the stacking order. With the third circle selected, I'll change the path operation to subtract. As I reposition this third shape, we can see that it interacts with all of the shapes on the layer that are lower in the stacking order. All right, I'll use Command-Z or Control-Z to undo that. If I select the middle shape and I set it to subtract, it will only interact with the first shape that I drew on the layer, not the third shape, because the third shape is above the second shape in the stacking order. So to have the second shape also interact with this third shape that I drew, I'll use the path alignment icon to bring the shape forward. Now, because it's at the top of the stacking order, it's going to affect all of the shapes below it. And the fifth tip, when distributing multiple shapes on a single layer, use the path selection tool to select the shapes, then use the path alignment icon to align the selected shapes to either a selection or the canvas and choose to distribute the shapes based on either the size of the shape or the spacing in between the shapes. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.